Hi, welcome back. I'm Donna from Donna's Quilt Studio and I know a lot of you have been getting a lot of use out of the previous free motion quilting videos that I posted. So today we're going to do something a little bit different. I've just completed a quilt that I thought I'd like to show you how I went about quilting it and the designs that I've used. Right, so the quilt that I'm going to show you today is one of our favourite patterns, our Blueberry Picnic, which is a quilt made from a jelly roll. If you look down here you can see that we've quilted a little spiral design through the central sashing strips. A larger version there in the border and a large overall pattern here in the middle which is a little bit harder to see but if I just show you the back you'll get some idea of what we've done. There we go. So you can see the, see the design, the overall design in there. I'm going to start by sketching the design out on paper. Now I'm not great at drawing but it'll just give you some, a better idea of how the pattern is formed. Now I've drawn some lines on this piece of paper about the size width that we, we're going to work with. So we've got about 2 inches here and about 4 inches here. I'm going to start with the 2 inch one and basically we're just going to draw a spiral into the middle and out until we come to this point right here, then we take it out with a little scoop and back and then we're going to go on to the next spiral. So you come over to this side, spiral, come back on yourself, over, back and then a spiral again. Now the wider one that I've used in the border is exactly the same, it's just a little bit bigger. So you'll probably find that you need to go in a little bit more into the spiral, out on the edge. Now remember you don't have to be perfect, especially when you're drawing, just get into the flow of it. Into the middle, out. Okay, so that's our border pieces. Now for the all over design, we start with a little spiral in the middle, in and out, and then we're going to echo that around. Don't go all the way into the centre there, and out. And then that leads us on to the next one, so spiral. You can see how it fills the space nicely. It's also quite good if you got, get stuck in a spot, you can echo around to the next place. Doesn't matter which way your spiral goes, I just vary it up a little bit. And then you can also take them off to angles, different angles as well. So that'll give you some idea. Now we're going to go over and I'm going to show you how we've quilted it on our design. Now you'll see that I've drawn the lines on again. Um, obviously if you're working on a quilt you'll be working with your setting strip so you don't need to draw any lines on. I like to work about a quarter of an inch from the edge. So don't go right up to the line. Try and keep my um, design within the quarter inch from the edge. And I'm going to be working sideways, so we're going to go into the middle. When you get to that edge, then you do your little scoop out and back. And then over. So 
So I'm just alternating from one edge to the other edge. Also remember when we're free motion pulsing like this, it doesn't have to be perfect. Try and keep your speed consistent as well and you'll find that the pattern starts forming a bit easier. Now we're going to do the big border exactly the same as the little one. The obvious difference is that we just need to go on a little bit further into the middle. Now you will have noticed in the, doing those designs, the first one I did sideways and the second one I did going towards me. So it's totally up to you, work at whatever suits, suits you. Now we're going to work on the overall design. Start with a little spiral in the middle. One. Two echoes. As you can see, this quilting design gives great texture to this quilt. Even though you can't exactly see the design in there, it creates this nice whirlpooly effect. And the same with the spiral, then echoing out into the design in the sashing. I've just done it with a contrasting thread there, just to tone it all together. I hope you've enjoyed this video and you can see how really simple designs can make your work just that little bit extra. Thanks for watching our video. Remember to thumbs up if you enjoyed it and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. We'll see you next time. Bye!